All right, so we're going to talk about simple interest. Simple interest is um, interest calculated only on the amount of money that we invest, called the principal. So for simple interest, the formula is I equal to PRT. That's the interest is equal to the principal times the rate times the time. The principal is the amount borrowed or deposited. And the interest earned, now that could be interest that you gain or interest that you pay. So what the principal means is that either borrowing money for a loan or I'm depositing money into an account. The interest rate must be written as a decimal. And make sure you're careful about whether or not you need to put a zero in front of the number um, or not. Because if you change it from like 3% and you don't write 0 .03 but you write 30, 0.3, that's a 30% and that's way different. So be careful about how you write the decimal. And then T is always going to be in years. So, for example, one, you deposit $20,000 into an account that earns 5% simple interest for 25 years. How much interest will be earned? All right, so, put that there so we can see it while we work on it. So, for example, one, remember we are looking at I is equal to PRT. I find it helpful for my students if we write what we're looking for. We're looking for the simple interest. We want to know how much interest is earned. So we need to know what these values are so we can plug them into the formula. And if you write these, it can help you make sure you're getting all of the numbers in the right spot. So if you deposit 20000 well, that makes that our principal because that's the amount deposited. And then that earns 5% simple interest. Well, 5% is the rate, but remember, we have to change it to a decimal. So that becomes 0 0.05. Make sure you put that zero there. If you don't, you'll have 0.5, and that's 50% interest. That's way too much. For 25 years, so T is equal to 25. So to find the value, we're just going to plug all those values in. So we have 20,000 times 0 0.05, put your zero in front if you want, times 25. But make sure you put that zero after that decimal place right there. Otherwise, it will give you a wild number. So I is equal to 25,000. So what that tells us is that over 25 years, we have gained $25,000 in interest. That's not the total in the account. That's just the interest we're, we're finding. All right, let's look at example two. If you borrow $2,300 for a new refrigerator at 10% simple interest for three years, how much interest will you pay? So last one, we were earning it. This time, we're paying it. So I need to know P, R, and T. We borrowed 2300 so that is my principal. At 10% simple interest, so that's 10%, which will be 0 0.10. And it's for three years. So that means we have I is equal to 2300 times 0 0.10, or just 0 0.1 will work. It doesn't matter either way you, you do that. And then times 3. So I don't have to put the 0 there if I don't want to. And we'll find that that interest is $690. So that's the amount of interest we will pay. This is the amount we earned. This is the amount we're paying. All right, example three. If you deposit $6,895 or $6,895 into an account that pays 2.3 simple interest for 10 years, how much interest will be earned? So again, we're looking at I is equal to PRT. So our P and our R and our T is what we need to know. Well, we're depositing 68.95, so that's our principal, 
The account pays 2.3%, which will become 0.023 as a decimal, and it's for 10 years. So the interest that will be earned will be 6895 times 0 0.023 times 10. And we will gain 15,000, oh sorry, $1,585.85. So that's how much interest we will gain over those 10 years. All right, example four says that if you deposit $15.50 in an account that pays 8% simple interest for 48 months, how much interest will be earned? Now remember, I told you that the time has to be in years. So we're going to have to change our 48 months. All right, so here we go. Example four. We're still looking at I is equal to PRT, but we need to know what the P, the R, and the T are. So the principal that we deposited was 1550 the account pays 8%, which we know will be 0 0.08, and the T was 48 months. Now we need to know what it is in years. How many months are in a year? Well, this will become 48 over 12. You've got to divide by 12 months, which will get you 40 or 4 years. So. 48 months is going to become four years. If you don't change it to years, you will not get the right answer. All right, so I will be equal to 1,550 times 0.08 times 4. And that will get you $496. So sometimes you got to think about whether or not it makes sense. So if I had accidentally put 48 and I took and put the amount in my calculator and I had put 48 instead of 4. So if I had done that, I would have gotten 5,952. Oops, sorry, you can't see that. I would have gotten 5,952. So think about that. In four years, is it reasonable that I would get that much interest off of that low amount. If it was 20,000, maybe, but not for 1,500 in four year period at that interest rate. So sometimes you gotta make sure it makes sense. All right, let's go look at example five. So for example five, if you borrow $900 for a new laptop and printer at 11.25% interest for 18 months, how much interest will you pay? All right, so we're still looking at I is equal to PRT. So P, R, and T. We are borrowing $900. The new laptop at 11.25%, which becomes 0.1125 for our decimal. And the T is 18 months. Now remember, we have to take that 18 and divide it by 12, and we'll get 1.5 years, because it's got to be in years. So our I will be equal to 900 times 0 0.1125 times 1 1.5, and that will equal $151.88. So this is simple interest because it has a simple formula and you can figure out the problem simply. There's a little bit more complication if it is months, but this is a simple interest formula.